Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. I uh, just been out moving more stone. Ah, so I needed that hit of water. All right. Um, so I had to go out today, and uh, I, uh, you know, make a stop at Walmart and see, you know, what what they have and stuff like that. And uh, so, to me. Uh, it's like Christmas, just so you guys know, and you will see why in a moment. But uh, I went in to see if they had any of the food grade buckets. Well, they had one bucket, which I have down here. So I'm like, all right, well, one is better than nothing. So I grabbed the one bucket. Um, obviously, I use it. Uh, I have uh, probably three dozen lids that I've been purchasing here and there. And so as I continue to pack away things, I add to everything so uh, you know always need more buckets always need more lids so I just I got enough lids at the moment so I just was trying to get a few more buckets I figured if I could get six or eight I would be happy but like I said they only had the one so I'm like all right well let me go over to the cannon section and so uh, I get over to the cannon section and they did have um, some cannon jars uh, they had like I think it was five or six uh, so I grabbed two, and uh, so normally, as you guys know, if there's five, I grab all five. I did not have a cart with me, because I didn't think I was going to need a cart. I was going to go over, see if they had buckets, grab buckets, and be out the door. So while I'm in there and I see the, the uh, jars, I'm like, oh, you got to be kidding me. Literally, and I will tell you, um, two years. It has been two years, all right, and at Walmart, they had regular mouth lids, all right, uh, 12 lids in a pack, and I was like, oh my goodness, so there's 24. There's another 24. Uh, there is 288 lids in a case. So you're looking at over, what, 574, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, five, five, seven, or 576. 576 lids. Now, they had a third case that had a few out, um, and I decided not to be a completely selfish PRI uh, and take them all. Because normally I would do that in a heartbeat, uh, but I was so shocked that they actually had lids. And you guys have no idea, um, every single time I go into Walmart, I'm looking to see if they have lids. And I use, like, I like the ball lids, okay? I don't want to use the generic ones. Um, you can get the generic ones. I've gotten some of the generic ones this year. Um, I couldn't get the ball lids. It was like, forget about it. They were just never in stock. So, with walking in there today and seeing that they had them in stock, uh, like a little kid at Christmas, I mean, you know, how, you wouldn't think that something so simple uh, could make you happy. But the way that I look at it, and again, you know, and do I have a stock up of lids already? I did. I've had a stock up of lids already, but I wanted to have more back, and I was trying to find them last year and didn't find any last year. Uh, every single time I went into Walmart, they never had them. And so, and then all of this year, here we are, it is November 1st, <laughs> okay? Uh, and so all year, I've been going this year as well, none. And so when they had as many as they had, yeah, I grabbed a bunch. And, uh, but I look at it this way, you know, when, again, when the time comes, you're going to have what you have. And, you know, you can have all the jars in the world, and that's great, and you can reuse those jars, and that's great too, but you can't reuse the lids, uh, you know, unless you're doing a dry storage. But, uh, you know, for canning, you need to have new lids to get a proper seal to make sure everything's going to be okay. So, to be able to pick up uh, this many more lids, unbelievably made my freaking day. Uh, probably made my week or month, because like I said, it's been ridiculous. Um, to uh, to try to find these lids. Um, 
literally almost impossible. So to be able to pick up this many, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you, if there had been 10, I would have been happy to get 10 of them. But to be able to pick up two cases, and like I said, there's 24 in a case, so it's 48 uh, all together, you know, and there's 12 in each, uh, you know, in each box. So, again, just uh, really, really happy. Uh, like I said, I like the ball products. The ball products are awesome. And like I said, to be able to pick up that many, uh, just, oh, see, now it's disorganized. It's, I put it back in the wrong way. <laughs> It's called anal retentive. But anyway, really, really pleased to be able to do that today and, uh, you know, to, to add to our, our prep items. Uh, it's just, it, like I said, for me, it just made my day. So really, really happy about that. And uh, so that was definitely uh, a good thing. Um, like I said, I got my one bucket as well. <laughs> so, uh, but I had the, the bucket... I had the lids in the bucket, and then I was carrying, uh, in the other hand, the two cases of jars. But again, you know, I'm always going to encourage you to get what you can get while you can get it. Because the reality is, when SHTF, SHTF happens, you're going to have what you have. And, you know, this gives me, uh, literally, if we canned 500 and, you know, 86 jars... It gives me, in a year, it gives me another whole year of canning. Now, we probably wouldn't, I don't know if we'd can that much, but, you know, if it's SHTF, we might. We might can more. <laughs> so, but uh, to be able to have that, uh, you know, in stock as a backup, to be ready, um, unbelievably happy to have that, and uh, very, very cool. Very, very cool. So, um, i got to build another building. <laughs> Just to be able to store stuff, I'll tell you guys, it's crazy. Um, I try to utilize every inch of everything, and, uh, you know, the house is just packed to the gills uh, with supplies and food and uh, medical supplies and paper products and toothpaste and mouthwash and you name it. I mean, just uh, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. But... It's, you know, like I said, there's a thought behind the madness, thought process, and again, you know, when that time comes, uh, things are going to get hairy. There's not going to be everything that you hope that you would have, and you're going to have what you have. So the more that you can put yourself in an advantage, and here's the best part too, okay, because I have so many, uh, somebody came to me and said, listen, uh, you know, I, I'd like three, three of these... Uh, you know, containers because I want to do some canning and I want to make sure the stuff is, is going to be good, uh, you know, I'll say, well, what do you have worth trading? And, you know, the beauty of having, you know, extra is it puts you in that position to be able to barter. Um, we might not because, you know, we may need that for ourselves. It just, it all would depend on the situation. But, uh, you know, that, uh, that's definitely a huge advantage. Huge, huge advantage. And, uh, Literally, for the last two years, I've been trying to get lids, and uh, they have not been available. And and, and not just Walmart, guys. Uh, Wegmans and uh, Save-A-Lot and any of those places, I'm always, always, always looking, wherever I go. And I uh, wasn't seeing them at all. So to be able to hit a score like this is, uh, to me, it's huge. So very excited today. Uh, very, very happy. I hope you enjoy the fire. Got a nice fire going here in the background. Uh, house is still very cluttered. Trying to work on organizing things a little bit better. Um, slow and steady, but uh, I've been moving stone again today. And so, uh, actually I can take you out real quick. We'll do that. We'll go outside and I will show you what I was working on. So the last you saw, um, I had two loads over there. I ended up adding a third load over on that side of the driveway for my truck so I could actually pull it in further, which I now can, which is awesome. So I did that. Uh, I put one load here to start working this back. This is all going to connect. The white one, you see, that was the load I put in earlier. 
Uh, so there was one load there, and then there is three more loads through this section here. So um, I did the, the one here. I did four or three here. So those were the four. I just did those four loads right now. Earlier I had done five. So I did the three over there. I did this one here. Um, and with this one here, part of it I put over here because this was very low. Um, this The cans were sitting in water, and I don't like that. So I put more stone over here as well. And then around the corner over here, I had showed you guys. I put one load in here uh, to bring this up. Now, I'm, I may throw maybe another half a load um, up into this area up here. I probably will just to bring it up better so that like you know as we get I might even just throw another whole wheelbarrow in there I probably will do that but uh, so the cats uh, Becky has decided she had been spoiling my cats and so my cats had been hanging over at her place uh, four of them and so uh, I guess she had uh, Max threw up on the floor and she stepped in it which she was not happy about uh, barefoot, which is always pleasant, and then um, I guess Lucy sneezed in her face when she was getting ready to go to bed, and she goes, Ed, I woke up, and I went, wait a minute, these aren't my cats, I don't have to take care of these cats, so I thought that was pretty funny, so she's locking the door and not letting the cats in anymore, and so she goes, when they're hungry and they're cold, they'll come in your house, I'm like, they were always welcome to come in my house, but, uh, so I thought that was kind of funny, uh, but uh, that's what you happen when you have a whole bunch of babies. But, uh, so Buddy and Max are hanging out over here right now. He's trying to get in, and they're just not going to do it anymore. She's like, I'm not letting him in anymore. I said, whatever you want to do. I said, I don't care. So, but anyway, so, moving stone today, uh, getting that going. Uh, I will continue uh, adding. I, I definitely want to put some more over in here as well. It, it's going to depend on the pile and how much... Um, I can utilize, but I wanted to hit this area first. Uh, I will connect this one through here, and then I will hit this whole area and build this up again. And uh, so, because you can see the wetness from where the water was sitting in here. Now, we don't normally get that much rain. That's a given, okay? Uh, it was an anomaly, but uh, at the same time, you know. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to have to worry about dealing with that. So I'm just going to continue from like here. This whole area is going to get another layer of stone on it. And uh, so that should probably take, I don't know, 10, 11, maybe 12 wheelbarrows full. I'll do that first. Once I have this area done through here and that's all scored away, uh, then I will focus on the end of my driveway first. And then if I have stone left over after that, which I should. I mean, there's still uh, a lot of stone here, a lot of stone. So uh, I got plenty uh, to utilize. But uh, I will I will utilize some of it at the end of my driveway, as you can see, uh, with the water sitting there. So I'm going to get that whole corner. And I've been cutting in, so I want to hit that all with stone so that's all better in that area as well. And then I will go and I will probably put whatever I have left over in Mom and Becky's area. So that's where we're at. Uh, that's what's going on. And so there's Mrs. Soxy. So anyway, I hope you're all having a great day. Uh, this is actually going to be the third video uh, of today. So I'm not sure. Um, I probably will put the other one up that I did earlier up first. And you'll probably have already seen that one. And then uh, this is the last one that I was going to do today. But I still have to uh, make a run to Tractor Supply. I want to pick up a few things there. And so I'm going to be doing that as well. So never stops. It's always something to get or something to have. I like to keep my stocks of uh, dog food, cat food, and chicken feed uh, at a certain level. So um, that means that I go and I do my runs. And so trying to get everything scored away, and then trying to get back to work here and get things done here as well. So it never stops. So anyway, guys, I am going to jump off of here for now. Uh, super excited about getting the lids today. It's an awesome, awesome get. Um, totally surprised, totally surprised, but super happy about it. Uh, I hope everybody's having a great day, and uh, I hope you guys are doing well. Remember, 
We are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. And as soon as we can figure that out, we're going to be in much, much better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD. Step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that can stop you from reaching those goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive. Stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right? I will see you all later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.